Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a video comparing X264 Slow and the new NVEC encoder. Now, this video was inspired by EpostVox. Um, he came out with a new video about how you can use the 12900K uh, in order to do X264 Slow. Uh, and the footage is, is really, really high quality. Uh, so we're going to be comparing that using his secret sauce. Uh, I'll have uh, two links in the description below to his videos that inspired me to do this. Uh, and then on the NVIDIA side, I'm going to be using a modified uh, NVEC uh, pl uh, encoder via the StreamFX plugin from Zamar. Uh, and I'll have a link to that as well. Now, the Zamar plugin uh, for the in NVEC encoder uh, just gives you more control over it. Um, I'm going to be doing a separate video on that to show like how to break it down and all the different settings and whatnot. Uh, but the footage we see today is going to be from the Final Fantasy 14 Endwalker benchmark. Uh, I like that benchmark because there's a lot of stuff going on the, on the screen and it really does seem to um, stress the encoder. And we'll have uh, X264 slow with Epos Vox's secret sauce settings uh, and the new NVEC encoder um with the stream effects plugin from zamar uh we'll be doing these in uh three different resolutions uh 1080p60 864p60 and 720p60 and then uh just a bunch of combinations of these things next to each other so you guys can see the the side by side and, and make the guess on what you think looks the best uh and what performs well so uh without further ado let's let's hop on into it and uh let's check out the video all right so there's gonna be one more thing before we get in the video i'm sorry i totally forgot but Wanted to give you a breakdown on the specs on this thing, just so you know what kind of hardware we're working with. So this is the new 12900K. Got it overclocked, uh, 5.3 gigahertz in game, 5.1 gigahertz all core. Uh, it's got 32 gigs of uh, DDR5 6000 megahertz RAM. Uh, and then we've got a uh, 3080 Ti uh, Founders Edition in there for the GPU and SSDs and all the other crap. But anyway, that's the hardware that we're working with today. Um, and uh, that should do it. So. Now we can get into the video, so let's go.
All right, so there you guys have it. That is the encoder battle, if you will. So X264 slow with Epos Box's secret sauce versus the NVEC encoder using the uh, stream effects plugin from Zamar. Um, I think my biggest takeaway for all of this has been that both encoders perform really well, to be honest. Uh, and it really does come down to the final resolution. You know, um, I've been doing a lot of tests on my streams lately uh, as well. Twitch TV slash Cardo, by the way. And um, 720p60 seems to be uh, the sweet spot. You can go up to 864p if you want to get in like kind of, you know, wacky resolutions. But really, if you have any kind of an action scene going all the way to 1080p60 is not the play because it's going to break down. You're going to get a lot of blocking and your stream's just not going to look very good. So uh, it may, as counterintuitive as it seems to, you know, you know, kind of bomb your resolution or to get a better looking stream. Um, really, as soon as there's any kind of movement, you're at a net positive in terms of quality. So. Let me know in the comment section below which ones you guys thought was the best. And until next time, take care of each other. I'll talk to you guys later.